Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri Alien Crossfire, where I am playing, uh, you know, the music's on, but the volume for it is so low. I'm amazed it was actually that high and aggravating. Maybe I'll turn voices up here, as well as, uh, maybe not sound effects, but voices sounds good to turn up. As a matter of fact, I'll actually crank that shit to max. Hopefully I won't regret that. Sounds good to me. So yeah, um, this video and this series, we're going to be playing as Sister Miriam Godwinson, the Lord's Believers. A very aggressive faction whenever played by the AI, although you can play her, uh, you know, peaceful, like... <laughs> you can. <laughs> it, it's funny. Social engineering starts with nothing, and you can take a look at her effects here. Plus two support translates a supporting free unit, fourth units free per base. Um, increased ecological disruption means that she has an easier time of aggravating the environment. And she has a penalty while engaging uh, native life forms. Probe team morale there uh, helps, you know, while engaging in that nonsense. And yeah, lab research slowed by 20%. Not to mention the fact that I'm not going to be accumulating any research points until... Uh, Mission year 2110. Anyway, I told you guys I'd end up giving a tutorial of shit, um, uh, terraforming in this video. By that, uh, I could choose a terraforming tour, but that's not quite what I'm looking for here. Instead, I will look for terraforming here. And I'm going to basically just cover some of the options that you have in the game uh, whenever you get a former. Although I guess I could just beeline for Centauri Ecology and go from there. Yeah, we'll do that. So, like I said, we're going to build this base in place. Uh, New Jerusalem, it is. Sister Miriam got founds New Jerusalem. Hooray! Eight turns the growth. Two, one, two, with three, one there. That's beautiful. Three nutrients and a mineral from that spot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, if I change... I will grow before that colony pod gets ready. So, that'll be a good thing. Next thing I need to do is find a good spot for me to plug in this base. Um, Miriam's not as suited to Yang as uh, Yang as constantly flooding an area with bases. But, you know, staying them three uh, tiles apart allows for greater defense against pretty much all the threats you'll be facing. So I'm actually going to end up doing that. Because whenever your um, your bases are three tiles apart, you can use infantry to better defend them. If they're more than that, if you try to like optimize the fat cross, you have to like use rovers as defense, or your infantry gets left out in the open, which is dangerous. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do about following this path here. Like, following the coastline and see if I can find a good place to plug this base. Um, I would have uh, colonized there, but that's not a place I can uh, do so, regrettably. So let's continue to find a place good enough for me. Hmm, one, two, three. One, two, yeah, oh, shit. I want to put a base there, and I think I like this spot here as a base. Let's see what I got here. Ooh! I'm next to the wreckage of the USS Unity itself. That's cool. I am going to go ahead and plug this base here. I won't be able to work that mineral bonus or get much from it due to the fact of. What is, I don't know though. I'm not next to any rainy squares. It's going to be a pain in the ass to grow this base. Oh well. The Rapture. Let's do this shit. See, yeah, I get nothing from it. I get minerals from that, though. That's pretty handy. But then the base doesn't grow. Go ahead and uh, pump out two scout patrols there. Also, after this finishes, I wanted to build a scout patrol. Um, Go ahead and explore out. Like I will be doing. Now, I'm not sure if the USS Unity wreckage is going to actually give me any benefits, courtesy of the fact that I've turned off, like, the supply pods and stuff. Okay, thank you. Centauri Ecology gives you access to formers. 
Unless you are doing some crazy beeline, like, say, for Secrets of the Human Brain to get it first, to get a free technology, pick C Centauri Ecology first. Just do it. Don't argue with me. Just fucking do it. Uh, I don't have a good spot here for me to place this base that I can see. Hopefully I can find one with uh, that. 16 turns until growth. I guess... This was not the best place to settle. Not the best place. I've accepted that. And moved on with my life. Um, What do I get from there? Three minerals there. I guess do stockpile energy for now. Yuck. That's a terrible idea. I could build another scout patrol, I guess. Um, yeah, go ahead and build another scout patrol, and then I'll think about it. Just continuing to explore. Um, let's see what I can, you know, unearth here. Okay. Um. Cancel orders. Yeah, due to the fact that I disabled, like, supply pops and all that shit. Um, let's go ahead and I'll plug the base here. That'll be fine. Okay, and you need to change off that as well. You're growing pretty quickly. I want you to build another colony pod. Defend that base. Go here, Divinity Base. And uh, you should be fine. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, so much for the tutorial, right? I, I, I don't think I really optimized my base placement at all. I should have aimed towards Rainier tiles for quicker growth. But the fucking Xenofungus is there, and it's uh, sabotaging my efforts. I blame the Xenofungus on everything. Centauri Ecology, I can't wait to get that. That's... <sighs> can't fucking wait. Okay, after you build this third one, just go ahead and stockpile energy. After, same with you. Uh, build two, and then build that. I want you to just go ahead and scout with this dude. So I can find great base placement. Alright, which means that you can focus on that, so I can increase my energy reserves. Okay, I've got some water here to uh, build some colony, uh, some bases around. Xenofungus, great. Nutrients up there, that'll be good. Whee! More rainy tiles, which is great. An energy bonus there, which is great. Great all around, I approve. Um, tell you what, go this way. Oops. Okay, Centauri Ecology has been gotten, which I approve of. Next thing we'll be doing is biogenetics for the recycling tanks, which will be ha handy. Um, tell you what. You came from the Rapture, right? Actually, go back there and defend that fucking base. Okay, that's a fungal tower. That's that's all levels of awesome right there. So excited. Peacekeeper researchers have discovered secrets of the human brain. This discovery has simulated a burst of peacekeeper research, which basically resulted in a free tag. Oops, hold on. There we go. And you in to scout. Three to three odds. Yeah, a minus ten modifier for planet. Uh, my strength, though, is pretty low, though. I'm not sure why those would be uh, odds like that. So, tell you what. I want you to go there. We're going to have to take out that uh, thing with a team effort. And you need to start building a former now. You need to start building a former yesterday. 
Mm, using the minerals there, that's good enough. Just wait there. Continue in to explore. We just pole position. Okay, you former. Do I have anything that will give me anything reasonable? No, just one one. Damn. Okay, fortify that position. Want you to speed by those. Sit there. And I'll explore this area some more. Hello, Provost Zach! Zach, right next to Miriam. Hey! How you doing? His might is unsurpassed. Well met, Sister Miriam. I am now called Provost Zakharov and act as the voice of un the university, whose intent is to pursue pure research, unfettered by outside motives and meddling. I see you and your minions have flourished on this unforgiving world. Mm, you can introduce me to the law for 15 energy credits? Ah, uh, sure. I think that could be fruitful. Will you give me applied physics in exchange for Centauri Ecology? Fuck you, then. But I will sign a peace treaty. And let's introduce myself to Brother Law. Woohoo! Um, I don't feel like giving you a map in exchange, getting a map in exchange for Satari Ecology. But if you'd like to offer me planetary networks, no. You guys don't understand the whole quid pro quo strategy where you give me stuff and I give you stuff. You can't just, like, demand things from me. Fuck you guys. I will not acquiesce to your demands. Okay. I guess I'll build another former here. That will cost mineral support, though. I might end up just, uh, disbanding one of my, uh, formers. Alright, so here we go. Here is a farmer, 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 farmer. And I'll move it to this spot. Here is, uh, you. I will move you, say, if I plan on putting a base here, then I can put a base there. That'll be fine. That's in a good spot, too. I like that. Although the uh, the colony pod will be unescorted here, unless I take one of you guys out and uh, move that with the colony pod. Divinity base. Uh, the Rapture. The Rapture, you can... I will actually resupply there. Rebase so that I can avoid um, having to pay support at a place. That sounds good to me. Moving on. Okay, terraforming a tutorial here. So I have this former. What can he build now from the start? He can cultivate a farm, construct a mine, construct a solar collector, plant a forest, road, sensor array, remove fungus. He can also terraform level, which is to remove uh, the rockiness attribute of a terrain, making it easier to say, like, you can take the rockiness out of here, Make it rolling or flat. So you can do other things with it. But you can't, like, add more rocks to a region. So that's all I can do right now. So now let's go ahead and uh, give a review of... Index. Terraforming. So, cultivating a farm increases nutrient production of a square by one. But it can't be built in a rocky square. Cult, uh, building a uh, solar collector will give you will allow energy collection in the square. The higher elevation of a uh, of an area in which you build the solar collector, the more energy you'll collect. So places like um, like three thousand meters above sea level, pretty good places to build like fucking solar collectors if you're really looking for pure energy there to rake in. You can construct mines, which will um, increase the mineral output of a square based upon that square. Like a rocky square will give you plus three uh, minerals in the region if there's a road involved, which is pretty good. And it provides an additional one mineral in mineral resource squares, which uh, makes building that there pretty handy to have. Now, there's something you need to keep in mind. 
in this game until you unlock the relevant technologies, you are limited to two of any given resource from a square. Uh, except for the special resource squares, like the nutrient bonuses and the mineral bonuses and the energy bonuses, you can't collect more than two of any resource until you unlock the requisite technologies. Which is why you, unless you're like ge uh, gearing for war, you should do your best to try and beeline for those. Now, because um, because of the bonuses that you might build in the region might not have that much of an impact, if any, one thing that I like to do is plant forests. Forests provide a, a balanced layout of nutrient, minerals, and energy. It's kind of limited, like it's one mineral, um, no, excuse me, one nutrient, two minerals, one energy, which means that you might not grow that fast. When you get tree farms and hybrid forests, it has a pretty good impact. Forests are also ecologically safe, meaning they won't aggravate the environment as much as the other things will. Solar collectors, mines, and farms all piss off the environment. Forests really don't, especially if you tack on your tree farm and your hybrid forest. So there you go, that's the layout. And that's why in last game you pretty much saw me construct nothing but forests, except for sensor arrays, which I could stick on the forest just fine and give me a... Uh, uh, ability to see things as well as plus 25% to my defenses near friendly sensor arrays and thermal boreholes which are just too damn good to pass up plus six minerals and plus six energy to a square which is great no nutrients get over it <laughs> there's a uh, later on when you get more technologies you can terraform down you can terraform up uh, there are there are sea technologies as well. You can cultivate a kelp farm. You can construct a mining platform. Your tidal harness. And stuff like that. There's a few other things. Like air bases and bunkers can help you defend or help you refuel aircraft. Echelon mirror will increase the solar energy collected by solar correct collectors in all surrounding squares. It also counts as a solar collector. Um... There is a soil enricher, which increases the nutrient production of a square by one. It, it's stacked with farms. There are condensers, which increase rainfall on its own in all surrounding squares, which is pretty handy. Uh, it can be used to increase nutrient production drastically in dry areas. Significant ne negative and ecological impact. So for those of you guys who are a bit confused about how all those tools worked and what I was doing there, I hope you guys have a better understanding of what I'm going to be doing. Consequently, considering that this is a minerals bonus here, um, this is actually a pretty strong uh, productive region here. I'm actually going to go ahead and... I think I'll go ahead and place mine on it, considering, I mean, it's a rolling square, so it's not a rocky mineral bonus, which would be fucking amazing. But it's still rolling, and it will give me access to producing more than two minerals from an area. Which means the Rapture, despite only having... You know, one citizen here, and limited growth until I do something about that, is going to be fucking great at producing shit. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take care of that building mine there. I'm going to go ahead and try to move my uh, scout patrol here out of uh, university territory. But hell, that's Brother Law's territory. Holy shit. See, uh, low sea level here, standard planet. We're kind of next to each other. It could be funsies. Believers. Ouch. That's not a good position for me on the totem pole at all. The bright side, apparently I have the strongest military. Okay, let's see what we can do about attacking this thing. Sweet! Good job! Notice that whenever you're aggressive and uh, go on the offensive against planet life and win, you gain credits from planet husks or whatever, planet pearls or whatever the fuck. Pretty handy. Now the next thing I'm aiming to build here is, um... Uh, I lost my train of thought. Tell you what. I want you to build another colony pod after that. I want this place to keep growing so I can keep expanding. I really want biogenetics to give me access to... Re, uh, recycling tanks. Which will help me improve the efficiency of my bases. It'll take me a while to get there, though. As you can see, I'm pretty damn uh, 
weak in this game right now. Hopefully, I will be able to turn that around, though. Yep, now, uh, University is going to complain a bit about my unit being in his territory, which is understandable, you know. Gonna head this guy back to base here and, um, deal with him. Well, this guy, I'm not even sure whether it's worth it to fucking, like, repair him in a base. I might just fucking disband him right there. Like, you did your job. I wasted opportunity, I guess you could say. Whatever. I'll get over it. Uh-oh. I'm in Brother Lyle's territory. He's like, oh, God. I'm working on it, okay? Working on it. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cancel. Move the you in there quickly and support from here. Which means that I'm no longer paying uh, mineral costs there. What I will do here now, though, is uh, switch back to uh, stockpiling energy and slowly grow this base over time. Now, let's uh, go out and start growing forests. Whee! Also, see the land that I can expand into. Ah, oh, Dick! Okay, next step that I should do here, Secret to the Human Brain would unlock Fundamentalist for me, which is pretty good, you know, because it's kind of the, uh, the social engineering choice that uh, Miriam goes for. But instead, I'm actually going to uh, head for... Should I gun for Ethical Calculus? No. Information Networks give me access to network nodes, which Zach gets for free, but I don't, and I definitely need the research bonus there, but... I'm going to get Ethical Calculus that will allow me to run Democracy, which is pretty handy. So... Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pick... Uh, not sure here. Don't know what the play is. I could always go aggressive and attack these guys, too. That might be useful to do this quickly. I mean, uh, I don't know. I do not know the play. Mm. I'll pick Applied Physics for now. But let's take a look at this. Okay. This unlocks the path to nonlinear mathematics. In order for me to get nonlinear mathematics, which will give me a particle impactor, which will be what I feel most comfortable with attacking. I will need this and information networks. Next breakthrough anticipated in 17 years. Jesus. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Where is my option to change what I am researching? Oh, God. That's, that's, that's not, that's, that's unacceptable. Tell you what, folks. Um... <laughs> I'm going to find my command, which will allow me to change what I am researching. Like this. Because that, no. 17 years? Good God. 17 years? Jesus. I, I have a bad feeling it's going to be the same. What about that? 17 years for that? Sure. Yep, you know what? I'll just gun for this. Ethical calculus. I shouldn't be playing these guys as researchers, though. That's not what Miriam can do. Miriam needs to fucking raid their bases with probe teams and rock their shit. So, with that in mind, then... Especially since Zack is there. Yeah. Information networks will give me access to planetary networks, which will give me access to probe teams. So I need to run those. Phew, that was that was dramatic. Anyway, everyone, that takes care of this episode. Fucking CEO Morgan's in the lead right now. Hope you guys understand more about how terraforming works, and you guys get to see uh, an introduction to holy fucking Moses. You know, I might as well just... Oh, shit, right. Since I got biogenetics now...
Build that shit ASAP. Want you to tack that on after that. And you insert recycling tanks after that. Saving my energy here. Uh, yeah. Fuck you, mind worms. Next time. I'm feeble. Hopefully I can turn the tide. Bye, everyone.